If you're struggling with writing a story for your film or video, this video will help. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. In this video, we're gonna talk about writing a story from tips for getting ideas to the practical writing part. And we're also gonna talk about some AI stuff. So take along. So getting ideas for a story and then writing that story in a way that works is not the easiest task. I think what you need the most for writing a good story is inspiration, right? What is it that interests you? What is a topic that you're passionate about? If you can't get fully involved in your story, you won't be able to make the most of it. It's true whether you're the director, the writer, the cinematographer, actor, but where does inspiration come from? Well, the answer is really simple, from real life. Everybody is full of stories because what we see in the real world on a day-to-day -day basis is all inside of us. The problem is that it's hard to recall them on demand. That's why, and here's the first tip for writing stories, take a note. Just take notes. Whenever you see something interesting, you overhear a thought-provoking conversation, you encounter an interesting character, just take your phone and take a note of these things. I also have thoughts, conversations, characters, situations written up in here, because God knows when they will be useful. Same thing can be said for ideas that pop in your head during the day. Write them down, or chances are that you will forget them, even if you tell yourself that you won't. The basic structure of a story goes like this. Beginning or introduction. Here you introduce what the story is gonna be about, characters, motives, and so on. Then comes the subject of your story or action. This is the part of your story when everything happens. Conflicts escalate, highs and lows happens. This is where things blow up, people break up people die and then comes the resolution solution here the story drops a conclusion basically and the conflicts in the story resolve and it basically stems the moral of the story to the film or video now when it comes to movies this structure is not 100 applicable a movie has more turning points and plot points but as a general idea you can absolutely use it to write a story but how do you practically write it very often the way i start my compiling process is by first coming up with the beginning, the base concept of the story. In film terminology, the inciting incident. It can be a situation or just a feeling given. Then I figure out how I want to end the story. What, what do I want to tell with my story? So when you have the beginning and the end, basically the starting point and your destination, all you'll have to do is fill up everything in between, which is in my opinion, much easier than going from the beginning step by step and then figure out how the story ends. I use this in my own screenplays, but you can absolutely apply it to a video as well. And you should, because it will give a logical order to your video. Okay, now I have to talk about something very present in the film and video making world, AI. The most common task AI is used for is probably generating scripts. And that's because it can do it surprisingly well. But I'd like you to use these tools when it comes to generating scripts only as a help, like an assistant for getting ideas or generating practice stories or structuring your films or videos. They're really good, but they always need to be optimized with your own talent and creativity. So the tool we're going to use is the AI script generator in the Uniconverter because when it comes to generating scripts, this tool is more advanced than the free version of ChatGPT since it's using GPT 4.0. If you don't have the Uniconverter, you can go and download it from videoconverter.wondershare.com and then when you have it, open the tool and go to the AI lab and click on the AI script generator tool. Now the way it works is that first you have to type your idea up in here. If you already have the beginning and the end of the story, what you want to focus on in the story, the results will be better. So I'd suggest that you put there, I don't know, you want a guy who fall in love with a girl, the ending is a lesbian positive, they got married and had kids. <laughs> And you can add something like they went through hard times because the guy went to war and he had to fight in order to survive so he could get back to his loved one. So if you add this, the whole end result will be better and already more creative than as if the AI tool would have come up with the idea by itself. Now in the next step where you can choose the style of the video, the choices are more suited for video creators, but choosing educational, for example, is also good for a fictional story. 
Then, if for the tone of the story you set casual, it's going to work with most genres, but you will have to optimize the script anyway, like I said earlier. So again, it doesn't matter. Then generate your script. When it's done, you can save it as a .txt file or just copy this text and put it into a Word document and keep working on it because you have to keep working on it in order to make it really, really good. Now, additionally, in a video making workflow, you can try the text to speech converter in the Uniconverter to create voiceovers from the scripts that you made. So AI tools are good for helping you in creating, but human touch is always needed. So don't save time on creativity. But that's all I have for this video. I hope you found it informative. And if you did so, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching. Have a great one, guys.